there is Kiki. Shout out to Kiki in the Philippines. Yeah. How'd you become so beautiful? I don't know. I'm not beautiful. We're going to home. Okay, where are we going? Oh, let's go home. Going? <laughs> See you guys. Bye. See ya. Kick in the Philippines on Walking Street. And I come over here to uh, see Dubs and Brian right there. They are talking away. No, it's just Dubs. It wasn't Brian. I don't see Brian now. Just Dubs. Hey, there he is. Kiki. Hey. Carol, Judy, Linda, Yvonne, Joyce, John from Rhode Island. Shout out to Kiki in the Philippines. Yeah! Hey, Kiki. Yeah. How are you? Yeah. Good to see you. Yes, nice to see you, Noel. The man, the man with the talking, with the, with the walking... Uh, yeah, the walking... The walking vlogger. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hi! How'd you become so beautiful? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> huh? You don't know? I'm not beautiful. We're going home. Okay, you, you're going home? Yeah. Okay, where, where, where are we going? Oh, let's go home. You going? <laughs> see you guys. Bye. See ya. Hey guys, this is Kiki. I'm here with a Marine, an old Marine, almost older than me. <laughs> What's your name? John. Here at Angeles City. He's here visiting. He's gonna, he's gonna go back home, sell all his stuff, come here. So if you guys are home, that's the way to do it, man. This is the life here. Gentle, nice breeze here. Tell me something about yourself. I joined the Marines when I was 17. 17 years old. Yeah, right after, right out of high school. Um, was that before Vietnam or during Vietnam? It was during Vietnam. Wow. 69. 1969. Yeah, man. It was a balls. It was a year to the day I had my brother killed in the Battle of Wei. Oh, it was 69, sorry, yeah. 68. Yeah. And uh, I joined the Marines. You know, gun hole type. I'm gonna go over there and kill the bastards that did killed you, him. Did you join the Marines yeah. before your brother signed up or after he signed up? No, he was. He was killed, and a year later I signed up. Right. He was in the first day of Calvary. Was he in before you? Yeah. He went in in uh, 60, 67 he went in, and he got in 68. You know, yeah, I, I, I just missed the draft. But I signed up later up in life. Yeah, I went in, went in in 69, went to Vietnam in 70. Got out of Vietnam, 71, went to Japan, stayed there for a year and a half, went back to the States, ended up going north and South Carolina, Massachusetts, to work with the reserves, went there for a year, out to California, back to Japan. I served five different tours of duty in Japan. Wow. I love Japan, it was a great place. So, so you yeah, wow, wow, wow. Yeah, and uh, my last tour of duty was in 80, 87. 87. Went to Hawaii, my last tour of duty. Okay, you were telling me earlier that you hurt your back. How'd you hurt your back? Yeah, I, uh, we were doing some maintenance around the barracks, right. and I was up on the ladder, and I had a misstep, and I fell off the ladder onto the tailgate of a six bike. I and it was on my back. And I kind of bent the backwards. And I kind of busted up a little bit. And it's never been the same since. No, 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 I know that. Back back, back. injuries say that for life. Yeah. For life. I slipped a disc in my back so it's, it's, it's been hurting ever since. And it comes and goes all the time. It twists yeah, it does. It's more like, ah, and you lean up in bed. Yeah, when it does, it puts me out, out of circulation for three to four days. Yeah, I'm yeah, on yeah. my back. I can't yeah, do anything. Oh, if you sit down, you can't stand up. Yeah. You're stuck. <laughs> I mean, you sit down. Oh, my God. No, it's, it's like a hinge. Yeah, it's better Just, to stand up than sit down. Yep. It's like a hinge. And that's the worst when you sit down. You can't get up. So, I retired in 1990. Right. And I went to work for the telephone company back home in Rhode Island. Okay. And I was working about three months. And my wife calls me up. She never called me to work. She calls me up and says, you got a registered letter from Headquarters Marine Corps. 
You want your bag? So she goes, what do you want me to do with it? I said, well, the first thing to do is pack my bag, and then read the letter to me. <laughs> so she read the letter. Sure enough, you know, we miss you. Come back. <laughs> oh, man. So I ended up going back in. Wow. Uh, went down to North Carolina, and I stayed there for three weeks and getting accustomed to the, the weather and everything for going right. over. Right. And ended up going over, went to Kuwait. I was in Kuwait for seven weeks and then came back home and we retired. And they gave me credit for an extra year being called back in. So ended up with 21 years. So, but I've been in, I've been to the Philippines many times. Oh, so you get 50%, not for disability, you get 50% just for the time you stayed there? No, no, I'm 50% disability. I get my military pension for 21 years. So you're doing good then? Yeah. You get yeah, a military pension? Military pension, the VA disability pension. Pension from the telephone, the uh, post office. Where Man. I, worked. I worked in the post office for almost 10 years. And I got my social security. Man, I should have stayed in the Marine Corps, man. <laughs> man, you, you, you're doing good. You're doing real, real good. Yeah, I, I move here. I'm, I'll be able to look pretty good. Yeah, man. Yeah. Concentrate on the health. Concentrate on getting in shape, you know? Yep. And uh, right now, the only thing that, as far as health-wise, the only thing that concerns me is I'll probably have to go back home every six months. Because right now, I got, they call it a spot of um, uh, prostate cancer. Okay, yeah, but so, I've so, had so it you're getting like, those little um, implants put in. Yeah, I've had it for like, yeah, yeah. Jesus, 10, 12 years. My father-in-law had that for forever. He's, he's, it's, he's, he could live with it. Yeah, and the doctor told me, me and the wife went to see him when after the test, and he told me, he says, you are gonna die, but it's not gonna be from this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said you're gonna die of old age, probably. Sure, sure, sure. So yeah, I'm so, my father, he, he died from a heart attack. Yeah. No, but uh, um, I've been on what they call a surveillance program. I go in every six months. They check it. It's, it's good to go back. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I want to go back every six months. Yeah. Just, just to so really, go for my checkup and visit my grandchildren and you know, see them, hug them. You know, I, I miss my grandkids so much. I haven't been home in nine months. I miss them so much, man. If you're older, older guy, and you're in shape. Viagra, not needed. No. Seriously, you don't, you don't need it. For some reason, the food is. Isn't as bad. I think it's your lifestyle here. Yeah, the food, the walking, and stuff like that. And, yeah. And, and the girls. Oh. No. Okay. What can you say about the girls? You don't, <laughs> you don't need Viagra. You don't need Viagra. No. You just gotta look at them. My God, and these girls are phenomenal. Beautiful women. Sure. Beautiful country. Yeah. You know, I love the people here. They're, they're so friendly. I mean, yeah. everywhere you go, not but smile. It's the best thing. You know, it's the best thing. The attitude of the people here are wonderful. Only, only bad attitude I get from the uh, from the foreigners. Yeah. Not Americans, just the other foreigners. You know, you, know, you get bad attitudes. Like I watch Billy in the Philippines. Yeah, Brian. He went down to see these people he calls the Abakan Bridge people. Right, right, right. They got nothing. Yeah, yeah. But yet he goes there, they offer him coffee, a beer, food. It's up in the mountain, right? And they've right? got nothing. Yeah, I, I plan to go there. And uh, he goes down there at Christmas time and brings them food and little gifts for the kids and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a good man. And, uh, he is a good man. He, and Chubbs too. Chubbs is really yeah, good. Yeah, Chubbs is a good guy. Yeah. He checked my hotel out for me. <laughs>